Hey, hi, Garbage Squad. We have our next match, Kabura versus Mai. We saw Mai destroy Masayu, to put it lightly. But I think Kabura, if you guys don't know, I've linked his YouTube channel here. For you guys who are new, you see his last few picks. All of his monsters are essentially 300 speed. And we saw yesterday on day one, his Sierra missed every bomb. It was terrible. And... You guys are probably saying his Sierra is low accuracy, but no, if you follow his YouTube channel, you will have seen his Sierra is, I believe, plus 190 speed on 77 accuracy. So I don't know if he has any artifacts because I can't read Japanese. Or I don't think he showed it at all. But if he has artifacts, it might be 85 to meet the, the threshold for the accuracy resistance check. So... Pretty unlucky that his bombs missed so much and that he just got von proc from Tanaka and got wiped. Very unfortunate here, but I do think my prediction here is Kabura should wipe the floor with Mai. So we saw, I don't know if I pronounced his name right, but if I am, let me know in the description, I mean, the comments below. But Mai, we saw, he, he, he ruined a Draco to counter um, Masayu, right? So my guess here is. In that downtime, he might have re-ruined and moved his swift runes. But we do know Mai, he's a very slow player. He plays that Tiana, double Dragon Knight, that Oki Wind Panda. We saw that. He was, he's very slow, okay? So I had that first the prelim ban on the Tiana and the Daphnis. A very standard, I'd say. The Daphnis kind of wipes the floor with a slow team. First picking the Bastet away from Masi, uh, not Masi, from Kabura is not end of the world because he has so many 300 speed swift monsters although Bastet is the core that makes all of them super powerful it is okay because he's got a lot of control with Oki Savannah resets maybe he's uh, lagmron with his Gemini comp we don't know but like I said before Mai, he's a super slow guy. He's got that the Neftis, the Dragon Knight. He just wants to land CC and go for the one shot uh, Justice, right? With attack buff on the Bastet. So what do we see here? We speed a speed game. I'm not 100% sold on taking the Samoth here because it is a speed game, right? But he has last pick. Like I said, last pick, I, I would honestly probably save it for a speed lead. And now we see a Leo that counters the whole speed meta, which means Leo might have to be the ban on Kabura's side. So now he needs a last pick that you have a last pick that you assume you're banning away the Leo. So what do you do here? Maybe you pick the Gemini that's on Nemesis and you let the Leo through and you ban the Bastet or you ban like the Neftis or something like that. So the Leo acts like an attack bar buffer, but also like a speed lead because he's kind of like a force ban. He makes everything zero speed or his speed, right? So the last pick from... From Kabura here, I expect it to be maybe a Gemini, a Lagmaron, or like a Rock. One of the three that does really high damage, and then the Daphnis got banned, right? There we have it. He's banning the Leo. This is a targeted Leo ban, 100%. And I think the enemy team might just ban... I, I don't forget if Mahi has Will. I think any any ban that's not Samoth is going to be good. Samoth... Or Sierra, that's not the ban, will be good for Mai. But if I'm Kabra, I'm 100% banning Leo. And for you guys who are watching right now and think I'm really biased, well, I am because I'm cheering for Kabra. He's one of the top cleavers in this game, and I'm pretending I'm him, okay? So I'm giving you, like, the insight. I'm not telling you, like, Ryan, use a skill too, buy a skill three and stuns Bastet. No, I'm trying to give you some high level insight of pick ban phase and what I would do if I was playing SWC, but, but I'm behind my computer screen, so. I got no pressure on me, nothing. So, you know, obviously a little easier for me. So here we go. I'm going to get first turn here. I'm a skill two or skill three. I think I'm a skill two and bop something here because I don't have a route. And if I get speed skill two, I get more damage too, right? So what do we do? Skill two, we bop the Neftis, go for the reset, and then Sierra, 77% accuracy. Oh, we got it. So now he has no more control for his team. Okay, sure. Your Dragonite can one shot one unit. Who do you one shot? Maybe the Oki because he still got skill 3, right? I hate using Oki. I hate using Sierra because you have to go through resistance checks. But Kabra, we did it. What does he do here? Who do you one-shot here? 
We can get the reset, no no justice, but we saw the resistance here. So who is he one shot here? Like, I don't think anything is going to live here because we know it's a super, super squishy team. But now we have to control the match and we have to kill off the Jaeger right here, right now. He cannot be stunned and we get no... Oh, we get no stuns. But keep in mind, do keep in mind, the Okeanos is not like 100% or 85 accuracy. He has a crit damage Okeanos, roughly, I believe, 40 something, 50% accuracy. And he picked a speed lead here. So we need the bombs to land here. We need to do mad work on the Jaeger. Please land. There we go. 77% accuracy doing mad work. And then we're going to attack bar with the high crit rate. So what does he do here? Okay, the Jaeger, the shield is still going to be there when the bomb detonates. So we got to pass back the defense break. We passed it back. Now Samoth. He cannot kill the Samoth here because if he kills the Samoth, Samoth revives and does tons of damage. The defense break is gone. But we, we have... The hot damage from Samoth, right here. Skill one, put some glancing on it. Hopefully it doesn't kill you. Right here. Cleansed and transferred the bomb. So huge, huge pick here. And Sierra loses the turn. I think this match might be over. Like the Leo pick. Maybe there's an argument here. You just, you just have to kill the Jaeger first, right? Maybe the Jaeger had to be the kill. And like I said before, in, in the first rotation, the Samoth pick is too early. We know Mahi is dirt slow. Okay, he drafts that Tiana stuff. He has that Dragon Knight stuff. He's not fast. I don't think we need... Like, imagine if that... Imagine if that, like... Samoth was like a Tableau. Tableau would be resetting attack bars and actually provide more work than the Samoth. Like, imagine if... Tableau reset the, the attack bars, Lagmon the skill 3 does tons of work, doesn't stun the Jaeger but attacks down and does like some debuffs on it, right? So a lot of people I think we're following bait to Mahi's um, super slow team here and we're drafting speed leads too early. When he's first picking with Bastet and you have the luxury of last pick, I think you have to save the last pick for a potential speed lead if you're playing a speed game or you play um, another bruiser type unit or control unit. So imagine this, the, the, the last pick could have been a Samoth if, or not because the Leo was shown in the last rotation and then when you see a Leo, you don't need to drop another speed lead if you're gonna if you're gonna leave it up or if you leave it, if you're gonna ban it, then you pick another speed lead to get until see first turn. But, I think the Samoth pick should have been any other pick that's not a Samoth. Like, a, like I just think the Tableau would have been so much better. I th and I think that like Neftis had so much control. Like everything is in hindsight, right? Like everything is hindsight. Jaeger is the only damage dealer, but can you kill the Jaeger? Um, I think you can because Neftis, Bastet, and the Light Dryad didn't provide that much damage. And the only damage was transferring the bomb back. So what if you just kill the Jaeger and boom, right? So here we go. The next match, pre-ban on this segment and then ban the Bastet. Now he has no Bastet. Like I said, Bastet is the core, but not the, the unit that he needs to make this work. So Okianos got taken away. We saw in the previous video that taking away his units do a lot of work, but now it leaves the Daphnis up. The Daphnis is going to be super key because like I said, he is dirt slow. And Daphnis is going to one-bop something if it goes through resistance check. Like, everything is if. If Daphnis lands skill 3. If Sierra lands bombs. If Okeanos lands skill 2, right? A lot of ifs here. So, that, there's a lot of esports going on here. So, we don't see a speed lead until now. Like, and here we go. Mahi, he's got last pick, right? So, it means he's going to pick a speed lead and guarantee Tiana slash Oki first turn. So, here we need to see a speed lead from Kabra. So that's going to be a Tableau or a Samoth, right? If the enemy team, he picks a speed lead, it's only going to be 24. So you can pick a 24 and 24 speed, like a 24 Tableau lead and not force a Samoth here. But if he doesn't pick Samoth, the enemy might take it. So he takes the Garo. The Garo is a speed lead for the Daphnis and the Sierra is a speed lead for the Triton. I did not expect this. So what do we do here? The last pick is the Sh oh, the Rika. The Rika counters the Garo in a way, but it really, really punishes the Miho. So what do I do here? 
I think we don't ban the Vanessa because we play a speed game and you bank that you're faster and then I think we ban the Rika. The, the potential from Rika is just too powerful here. I don't believe you can one-shot it. I think Rika has to be the ban. I am scared of this Rika. The Okeanos, Tiana does have synergies, right? But you have to keep in mind, Tiana is most likely to go first and then Triton goes first. Tiana base speed, pretty doo-doo, okay? Triton base speed, oh, pretty sugoi. Daphnis, pretty good. There we go. We ban the Oki. So now, how do we deal with this Rika? I don't know how we're going to deal with this Rika here. Because he gets first turn, yes. But you need to reduce the attack bar. And then, how do you kill the, the Rika? Because you, you have to kill Rika twice through Vanessa. Or you kill Vanessa and then you kill um, Rika, right? But then Rika would have landed her load by then. So here we go. Tiana outspeeds with 33 speed lead. I'm not 100% surprised. I'm a little bit surprised, but Triton's base speed is insane, but 24 speed lead, right? So here we go. Big misplay. Why did he why did he not use skill 3 to give attack bar buff? We we know Rika. We know. Oh, but what is this man doing? We know his Rika and his Dragonites are dirt poo poo slow. So why would you not? Do attack bar increase and then we kill off this this is a flat attack tiana he just got one bop that got oh dude mahi should just pause his game for 20 minutes come back and say he needs a replay because he just threw this match so hard and then he's going to just kill off like this garo is in a solo as long as the garo just kills this stupid rika 100 w there's no way he's gonna come back here and then he just silences everybody what's he gonna do nothing right here boom done Dude, Mahi just threw a match. Oh my goodness. I'm so baffled that skill three gives you attack. But like you got, you had everything to win this. You kill off the Rika, boom, garbage. Like what is, what is Jaeger going to do? Miho solos, like Miho literally solos this. You can kill everything off the playing field. Miho solos this. Kill everything off the playing field. Garo solos this. I am so, like I'm happy. Like I'm happy he threw. Otherwise, Cabra's chances went from like Cabra's chances of win were like probably like 50 50, and they went to 100% because he just threw this so hard. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, like, yeah, you, you're like, I'm pretty sure this, <laughs> I'm pretty sure this man is a high crit rate build. Like, look at that. He's critting all the time, and you're probably saying, oh, this Miho does no damage, and the Jaeger's not landing any dots. Well, that's because his Miho is 100% resistance, right? I was inspired to build a 100% resistance build on Miho like Kabura. That's where I actually got the technology from. Like, all credits to him here. But credits to Mahi for giving the W to Kabura. Thank you for the win. Didn't pause your phone for 20 minutes for uh, potential uh, replay because, you know, pfft. Oh uh, yeah, you should just you should just call the referee and say you fat fingered it. To be honest with you, um, no, I'm not sure that's counted as for a re for a replay. But ooh, I think Kabura was in a really tough spot. Now we're in game three, which means Kabura gets does he get he doesn't get first pick. So does he ban the Bastet or like let Mahi take the Bastet, knowing that his Swift sets are not that good? So now we know his Tiana hundred percent is on the fastest swift set because Vanessa 33 speed lead plus Tiana outsped Triton in 24 speed lead. You don't need super great runes on Triton to outspeed a Tiana because of the base speed. That's like a 20 speed difference, right? So like doing some simple math, we know right here, first pick Bastet on Mahi's side, take it away, 100% right here. Okay, right, you got, what you gotta do here is not show your speed lead until the last pick, okay? Do not do it right here. Don't show your speed lead because we know right in here it's a he's playing a dog slow game again, right? Very slow game. So do you what do you pick here? Do you pick a Savannah? Uh, like do you pick a Savannah anticipating he's gonna pick a Leo and you have to force spend it anyways? And if he picks the Leo, right here he anticipates the Leo here. He knows like the Leo. He sees it coming and he has to ban it here, right? But he also has double speed lead in Sierra and Gemini. So he's probably going to take first turn because we know his Bastet's not super, super fast, all right? So the last pick is going to be the Lagmaron or a Rauk. It's going to be a Lagmaron, I think, 99% of the time here. I'm probably 1% wrong. I'm probably going to be wrong here. So it doesn't matter what Mahi's last pick is here. It's going to get through and then we ban the Leo. Same draft, which means the Sierra gets through 
Whoa, we pick a tableau. A tableau means like the tableau, Savannah, Lagmaron, I mean, Oki signifies a Leo ban 100% because all those units get countered by Leo. So what, like I just, the, the tableau pick is what I wanted to see earlier. The Gemini pick is for the defense break strip into the Okeanos crit damage skill three. So will Oki have the damage to wipe the floor with his team? We'll have to find out right here. Please do your work, Gemini. Boom, 100 accuracy. That is so sad. I know for a fact his Gemini has high accuracy. So what does he do here now? He has to go for, I think he goes for, has to go for skill three here. No, doesn't bother. Instead, he goes with turn dice. And then he's going to go for another rotation of Okeanos here. Okay, so what do we do here? Skill three resets. Oh, dude, I think you, you killed the Jaeger here. This is actually like, I think this is quite unlucky here. We're missing so many. Oh, and dude, oh, and it's over. Because Bastet's got attack buff, but Jaeger does not have the skill to justice attack buff. 77% accuracy. I think you should have just bombed the Jaeger here. Like, the Jaeger is the threat here. I think this is over, but... Like, what... Like, like, I don't think the Tableau was the right pick. I think the Tableau should have been another damage dealer. Like, imagine if that Tableau was like a Lagmaron. We would have so much DPS output. We, had, we would have a defense break on the... We would have a defense break onto the the Jaeger and we would have squalled that or skill three that, right? That was a misplay. I think the draft, I think we lost it at draft. The Tableau and the Samoth, the speed leads. I think I think Masayu and Kabura just targeted the speeds too much and didn't take a little bit of the risk to go first. Because we know like Mahe is not very fast. So Unfortunate that we don't get to see any of the cleavers advance to the final round to try to take the crown to move to SWC. Hope you guys enjoyed. It was fun casting this while I can. Um, anyways, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe, and see you in the next video.